so I got a comment that kind of interested me recently, and it was about the Brave browser. So, apparently, and I'm not really sure about this myself because it hasn't happened to me, but apparently a lot of people are just all of a sudden losing their Brave tokens, and they have absolutely no idea why, and apparently Brave support also hasn't really been giving them a proper answer on it. So today I just want to dig into that and just see what's happening. So the viewer in particular was named Chronic Pillow, and the comment that I got was, I'm wondering since everyone including Brody, Luke, DistroTube, Chris Titus, and others are advertising Brave Browser and claiming it to be great, how come no one ever did a video on Brave support, incompetence, and frequent disappearance of Bat? So if you don't know about this situation, basically what's been happening is that apparently users have been losing their Bat, and they've lost it multiple times. So if you don't know, Bat is the basically the token you get in Brave for viewing ads, and a couple other things you can get it for. So when they go and ask in the reward support about this, apparently Brave support only gives one or two post replies and then just completely ghosts the people. So they'll apologize, they'll promise a refund and then just disappear. So they'll do the typical HR speak of, oh, this is a problem that we're worrying about, we'll get it fixed and then just start ghosting users. Apparently some of the users have been banned from the forums. Now I don't have any evidence of this, but apparently this is something that's been happening. And this comment in particular has said that this problem has been going on for at least three months now, so two to three months. So what I wanted to do today was just look into what's actually been happening and see if we can, I guess, work out what the problem is and if this is actually as serious a problem as this commenter makes it out to be. So the first thing we should probably explain is how the Brave reward system actually works. So the first one makes perfect sense. So you have user-funded BAT. So the way this works is it's just basically a donation. So you can donate to a creator, a creator can donate to someone else, that creator can donate back to you. Basically it's a way to do donations within the BAT ecosystem. So this is just a donation from another user. There's nothing too special about this. Then you have the ad rewards. So if you don't know, the way that Brave works is it basically replaces the ad networks used by various websites, which is typically Google AdSense. It will replace it with its own network and then the users of the browser will basically get a portion of the bat generated from those ads. So this is typically paid monthly. Now the other way that you can get paid in bat is through bat grants. Now this is basically promotional tokens from the owners of Brave to basically stimulate the economy. Now these actually carry an expiration date. So it's very possible that some of the people who lost their bat didn't actually have a real problem. It was actually just from the bat grants. But that's not the end of it because there actually are some people who are losing BAT just from ad rewards. So that's just something I wanted to keep in mind though because some people have been losing BAT because of that because they didn't know about BAT grants. Some of the solutions being suggested by the team are to reinstall Brave and to attempt to recover the wallet. This has worked for some people and it hasn't worked for others. It kind of depends on their exact situation. So if we have a look at the forum for just a moment, so there's a lot of people complaining on here about various stuff. So some of it isn't what we're caring about today. So some people are talking about how their estimated rewards for that month have gone down. Some are talking about how their ads have disappeared. Some are talking about how auto contribute has been turned on. So the auto contribute is another one as well. So if you have bat missing, make sure you check your auto contribute because it's very likely that after one of the updates, auto contribute was turned back on. This is a known bug. So make sure you check that one. But this might not actually be the thing that's causing the main problem, but it is something to keep in mind. What exactly are we looking at on here? So the ones we're looking at are these, mainly these two right here. So missing bat all gone and missing bat after update. So there's probably some other ones that are also containing very similar stuff, but those two are the main ones that I'm interested in today. Now, one person I saw on here basically thinks that the blockchain is compromised. Now, I don't really think that this claim holds any water, so I'll show you the post exactly. This person's been posting on various different posts on the forum, but this person right here believes that the blockchain is compromised basically because this wallet has a lot of bat moving in and out of it. Now, I don't think that this holds any water, and the reason for that is because just because someone is moving a lot of tokens around, doesn't actually mean that they've stolen them. It just means they have a lot of tokens that they're moving around. So could it be possible that the BAT blockchain is compromised? Absolutely. Yes, it's absolutely possible that this could happen. Do I think it's likely? Not really. And especially because no one has really addressed this person, I don't think anyone's really taking them seriously because 
they don't really show any evidence. All they show is that there's an address that has a lot of bat moving in and out of it, which really, if you know anything about crypto whatsoever, you know isn't really that suspicious. If we knew there was a vulnerability, yes, that would definitely be suspicious, but because that hasn't really been found yet, I don't really think that actually really matters as a claim right now. Now, there is one more error that was happening at the same time as well. So, on Uphold, which is the online wallet you have to use for BAT, I don't believe there actually is a standalone wallet, which does really annoy a lot of people because to use Uphold, you have to verify your identity, which I know a lot of people have a really big problem with. But on Uphold, for a brief period of time, it was actually showing the wrong balance, and generally the wrong balance was going to be lower. Now, I don't know what the reason for this was, but this has since been fixed, so I don't think this is the overarching issue that we've been seeing. Now, the most likely problem that we had is from something that one of the members of support actually did talk about. So I will bring this up. Uh, basically, what happened... Now, I don't know if this is entirely true, if this is the only problem, but this is the only thing that the support has actually said might be the problem. So we would like to acknowledge an issue where users are seeing their back brave rewards suddenly decrease... And another related issue where BAT from a single wallet which is restored into multiple browsers is not reflected equally across browsers. So this sounds very similar to the problem that we're actually seeing right now. So what happened basically is in Brave version 1.3, which I think is a few versions out of date now, so I think we're on like 1.5. I'm not sure on the exact number, but I'm pretty sure that's a bit of an older version. But it is within the time frame that we are looking at. So what happened was that Brave introduced a new system based on blinded tokens and privacy pass to make BAT tokens more private and untraceable. So what this basically did was while making this change, we had to build a legacy system translation service that would automatically create blinded BAT in your browser in order tr to transition from the legacy system to the new blinded tokens architecture. So what seems to be happening here is that some of the legacy tokens are not working as expected within the service, which is leading to an issue where the Brave Rewards wallet balance, which is configured to detect blinded BAT, suddenly appears to decrease. So they believe that no BAT has been lost. I'm not sure whether this claim is true or whether it's just PR speak, but it seems like no BAT has been lost and they do say they will reimburse the BAT. Now, with the, I guess, response that support has been giving some people, I don't know how likely this is, but I feel like it would be a PR nightmare if they didn't reimburse people who were actually losing their bat. So the other thing that was happening was with wallet syncing. So in prior versions of Brave, you were apparently able to actually sync your wallet between different versions of the browser by using the backup and restore functionality, but this was meant to protect against data loss, not to actually sync your wallet. So if you were doing that in the past, it seems like that's not going to actually work anymore. They do want to work on a reward sync feature that will actually allow people to sync their rewards across their different instances of Brave. But anyone who was using that version, it seems like they've lost some bat. So what the Brave team is supposedly going to do is make up for any lost bat. But once again, I don't know if this is going to be the case because this has been, what, a month and a half since this happened. And that doesn't look like there's really been much of a response since then. It seems like it's been just as bad or maybe even getting worse, really. So in the end, I'm not really sure what's going to happen with this. Do I feel bad about recommending Brave? Yeah, I do a little bit, but I still think that it's a really good browser, even if you just completely disable the ad network and don't even bother with it whatsoever. I still think that it's a really good browser, but one of the really big selling features for it was the crypto that did come with it. And if it doesn't have that working properly, I really can't, I guess, recommend it to people. So I would say maybe try something else out. I'm going to probably keep using Brave for the time being. I haven't had a problem with it myself, but if you are looking for a new browser, maybe pick something else. Now I'm going to have a look at another browser not too long from now. It's a fork of Firefox, and I think it's actually really cool. No and no, it's not Pale Moon. I will look at Pale Moon at some point, but it is something a bit different. So, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure in the end what the actual problem is here. I'm going to assume, uh, because I don't know anything more, that it probably was just this update problem. I don't think the BAT blockchain or the Ethereum blockchain is compromised. I think if the Ethereum blockchain was compromised, 
you would know about it by now, especially because of how much money there is in Ethereum. So I don't think that that's very likely. But as I said, it is very possible. Is it possible that Uphold is compromised? That's also possible, but I feel like people would have noticed that as well. So I'm going to say that this is probably the most likely solution. The fact that there was a problem migrating over to the blinded tokens and hopefully people are going to have their brave refunded. Now I have no way of knowing if they will, but I really do hope that people do because this will really hurt the brave browser if they don't do that. So they are pretty much stuck in a situation where they have to. But I did scroll down to the bottom of this and the last comment was from eight days ago. And I don't know if there's been any other response from the Brave teams. So I don't know any more about this situation than you do. So if you are struggling with this, then I guess, I guess you're just going to have to wait really. There's not really anything else that can be done about this. So I guess try out one of the Firefox forks if you want to try that out. I'm not a big fan of mainline Firefox, but try one of the forks out, I guess. So I reckon that's pretty much everything for this video. So if you like this video, then remember to smash that like button and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think. If you want to see more videos like this, then remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. I'm now aiming for 10,000 subs and any help you really appreciate. Down below, I've got my social links, I've got my support links, and I've got my alternate video platforms. So my alternate video platforms are Library and BitTube. So I just wanted to try out a bit of a different outro. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the outro, I might change it again, but I felt like the old version was a, a bit bloated. It, I don't like saying bloated, but I feel like it was a bit bloated. So, hopefully the new version's better. I'm really going to work on it because that was just thrown together a minute ago. I didn't actually do any planning beforehand, so yeah, that's kind of what that was. Now you might have noticed that my audio sounds a little bit different. Actually, you probably won't notice because no one pointed out the fact that it was garbage for the past three months. So I finally learned how to set my gain with my microphone. I didn't even realize it was a problem until I learned what I was doing wrong. So now my audio should sound considerably better. What was happening before was that I was just letting it clip and didn't really know how to fix it. Now I've basically just cranked my gain all the way down and it should sound a bit better now. It's still my voice, so it's still an Australian accent, so there's not really much I can do about that. But besides that part, it should sound a bit better. So I can like get up real close to the mic. Oh, that's still loud. I can get up real close to the microphone now and it's not clipping. I still have to whisper, but I can still do this. I'm not going to record videos like that, but if I wanted to like do uh, really weird Linux ASMR videos, I guess I could do that. So no, I'm not going to do that. If I did, I would put it on some weird channel that I'm not going to tell anyone about. But anyway, I think that's everything for this video. So I'm out.